Hello y'all and welcome back to the channel. I'm Marquita here and I am going to be sharing my mini Bath and Body Works haul um, that I purchased from items in store. I'm also trying out this new microphone that I purchased so we'll see how the audio goes. You guys can let me know and we'll see how well it blocks out sound and does all of that because my AC is running in the background. You guys have seen my videos. You probably hear it sometimes so we'll see how well this goes but I want to share with you guys some items that I picked up during the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. It's still going on now in store and online and you guys know that as time goes on the sale gets a little better and we have gotten to the point where some of the items are up to 75% off. Let's get into the actual items that I was able to get because I went into the store. Now this is my first time really shopping the semi in my annual in the area that I live in. Now in my old area a lot of times the good stuff which aka the really cheap stuff um gets gone so quickly like I never had a chance. But in this store there were actually tons and tons of the lower price items like meaning the 75% off items available and in, in, in particular I'm talking about candles and wallflowers because those are the things that I shop for. I typically don't wear a lot of the body stuff just because I prefer like uh, actual perfumes over like the body sprays and stuff. Not that the things aren't good, that's just my preference. Um, so I don't wear a bunch of that, but I have a ton of it in my room um, in stock because of people gifting it to me. And then from the free coupons, I do redeem those. But in terms of me stocking up and buying a bunch of the stuff, I don't really do that. I typically do Bath and Body Works for candles and wallflowers. So let's start with those candles. So Sunset Desert was one of the three weeks three wick scent that was on sale for six seventy three, dollars um, and I think they had sold out online because I do remember looking at this one, but they did have a few of them in store, and now that I'm thinking about it, I should have bought all of them, but I only got two of these, and these are the three wicks, and it has a very interesting smell, interesting in a good way, um, so I really liked it, and I do like the candle jar design as well. One thing I will say is that I think Bath & Body Works has stepped up their uh, design labels on the candles and the body stuff. They had some really beautiful um, labeling, but the product themselves, I don't know because I don't really buy it like that anymore in terms of the body care. Um, candles, though. The scent, um, Sunset Desert, contains juicy pomegranate, cracked peppercorn, rich patchouli, and natural essential oils. So that is the scent that makes up Sunset Desert, and it is a wonderful scent. So I'm happy with that purchase. And like I said, I purchased two of them. They were $6.73 a piece. They're no longer online anymore. I don't think there are any $6.73 candles remaining. I looked earlier tonight. I think all the candles are gone. It's only like two more $1.99 or $1.98 wallflowers available. So, so much for that. For now, we know that they do add more from time to time. Um, so, I got the two candles. And then the only body care, well, actually, no. Let me not lie and say the only. Because I actually had a coupon for free um, travel size or a free item up to $9.97, which is pretty much like travel size price. So um, I got two things in the body care, and that was this spray here, which is the Gingham Vibrant um, Fine Body Mist. It is purple. You know that I like, um, love purple. It's my favorite color. And this typically runs for $18.95, and I believe with the sale price, it was like $4 and some change. And they are this price online as well. Um, but if you been following Bath and Body Works, you guys know that they kind of expanded or did like a little thing with their gingham line. It used to be just like the blue one. So now they have these other variants of it. And so this is one of them. Um, the fragrance notes are wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla. Um, it smells really good. And again, it's really cute. So I'll add this to my body spray collection. And then the other thing I got in the travel size was the Gingham Gorgeous, which is the pink gingham that they came out with. And this is a 2.5 ounce. And the notes for this one are not listed on the back of this. Let's see. No, it's not there on the little ones. Um, so don't know what the scent is, but I did like it when I sprayed it. So I went with it. So I love these little travel sizes. You can definitely drop this in your purse or in your um, travel bag if you're you know traveling with these. So I got it. They didn't have the purple that I saw in the travel. So I just grabbed what I got. So it gave me a chance to try out two of the scents. Um, it looks like this might have a strawberry or raspberry based on the decor. 
All right, so those are the two body care items that I purchased. And like I said, this one was free thanks to my coupon. And then this one was 75% off for like $4 and 70 something cent, I believe. Um, another little thing that they had that I thought was super cute was this plant um, wildflower plug-in. Now that's something that I do use a lot throughout my house is the wildflowers. Yes, I know about all the toxic stuff and blah, 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 but um, I do still use the wildflowers and this one is just a plug-in. I don't think this is one with the lights. Some of them are night lights, but it's super cute with the little plant and I thought it would be a nice addition to my living room, which if you guys follow me, you have seen. I have my plants, my house plants in the living room. And so there's actually a plug on the wall where a good chunk of them are. So this would be a perfect addition to the living room and it would match the theme of all my plants. This was also 75% off and I think it was like $3.79 for this particular um, style of plug. And I don't know what other, I didn't see in my store, these were the only plugs that they had that were on the markdown, I think it was this design, but I think there are some online. I just haven't looked because I don't really need any. Um, let's see. Uh, the hand sanitizer, this one particular pocket back was on sale as well. This is mint chip. Uh, mint chip cookie it really does have like a kind of chocolate mint think peppermint patty smell to it um i did get the sample it it was marked down this was the only scent that i could find that was on the sale and it was i think it was less than a dollar because they're only a dollar 95 like regular price but i think it was a lot cheaper than that let's see if i can find it it was 49 cents so that was a good deal for those. I I wasn't crazy about the scent. I didn't hate it, but it's also not something that I loved enough to buy a bunch a bunch of. So I only got one. So, but they were forty nine cent. If you like this scent, it's a good deal. And there may be more online. I don't think so though because I did do a search for them, and these were all just like a dollar a couple days ago. So, just something to note. And last but not least, what's at the bottom of my bag, the remaining things are the wallflowers. And that's why my receipt is so long. Um, and I'm just going to pull out the different scents. I don't even know how many I ended up buying because I was walking around and I was reading the labels for what they were. Because most of them are scents that I'm not familiar with. And I was just dropping them in my bag. <laughs> so I don't even know how many I ended up with. I just put them in the bag and went with it because I did need a refill on some of my wildflowers but at the same time I didn't want to get a whole bunch of scents that I wasn't familiar with and may or may not like so the one scent that I am familiar with and I actually love is cucumber melon we love 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 cucumber melon it's an OG classic if you've been a Bath and Body Works girl since like middle school cucumber melon was that chick so you know that's a that's an OG so I got a few of those I'm going to move those out the way Apparently, I got four of those, and that's because I know what they smell like, and I know I like the smell. Um, one of the, and the other scent that I got that I already know what it smells like is mahogany teak wood. I usually get these candles as well. I love mahogany teak wood. It definitely um, gives kind of a masculine smell, but it's like, like a men's cologne, and who doesn't love to be reminded of, of Bay every once in a while? Um... The one of the new scents that I picked up, new as in new to me, was um, Palo Santo. I don't know if it's actually a new scent as in new to Bath and Body Works, but it's new to me because I have never purchased it. Um, the scent notes are Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk with essential oils. So I have no clue what it smells like, but I picked up a couple of them. And I may put it in, you know, the next time one of my wildflowers needs a refill. And I think I'm going to go back to Bath and Body Works maybe tomorrow. Um, and I want to say mine, at least the Bath and Body Works I went to had tons of the dollar. All of these were $1.98, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. All these wildflowers were $1.98. And they had, ton, like, buckets of, of them. So I think unless somebody just went on a real spree today, then they will probably still have quite a few that I can choose from. So I may pop. The Palo Santo, go ahead and plug it up in the living room here and see what it smells like because I know they had a lot of those left and um, yeah, so I can get some more. Um, the other scent that's new that I have here is Spa Day. New, again, new to me. 
Um, but it does say on the tag, new fragrance. So this must be a new to Bath & Body Works as well. Um, Spa Day is made up of bergamot water, violet, cedarwood, oud, and violet, I mean, oh, goodness, white vetiver or vet, vetiver. Yes, I hope I pronounced that correct. Um, that sounds interesting. So again, this is one that I'd probably want to um, plug in and see. I feel like I might like it. And that's why I want to go ahead and plug them in because if they get gone and I like it, I'm going to be salty. So I got two of those as well. And then another scent that I got that's um, new. It's not a new scent, but um, I don't think I've ever had it. And that's Market Peach. I usually like peach scented things and flavored things. But sometimes with Bath & Body Works, the things like this can be kind of light. And so they don't have as strong of a throw as I would like. So that's why I only picked up one. But it says that the notes are juicy peaches, dew-covered leaves, and a hint of vanilla. So it might, it is an enhanced fragrance, so it may smell good. And I do have the plugins where you can control, like, you know, the strength. But I just find that sometimes the things like this, which smell great, just aren't very strong. And so that's why I only picked up one. But I'm going to try out some of these new ones and see because I have a feeling I don't want to have like buyer's remorse or FOMO and you know wish I would have gotten them but that's everything I got in my Bath and Body Works haul what are some scents that new scents or scents that you picked up um either a semi-annual or just some favorite scents of yours that you like put that down below in the comments and I will um read those get back to you and maybe we can see what else if there's something you think I should try or that I might like I typically like fruity floral um or sweet scents but for now Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.